Hey everyone, Matt Hooper here. Today we're going to be learning about how blockchain is disrupting the future of payments. Because if two or more entities are using blockchain-enabled technology to pay each other, they're cutting out the middleman entirely. So if I want to pay someone in, I don't know, Ireland, I can, without needing to worry about extra fees or cross-border transaction costs. For instance, I'm looking at the user profile of one uh, guy by the name of Jack McCombe, right, who seems to have received a romantic payment from another user with a little heart emoji, a woman named Violet, Violet Sampson, which is actually the name of my ex-girlfriend, which would, there she is. I reckon that's her, uh, that's Violet. But what's she doing in Ireland? Unless she's taking that trip we always talked about. Sorry, pardon me. Hey, Matt, uh, what is it? Huh? Are, are you okay? Do you, do you need another minute? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. It just appears that my ex-girlfriend is in Ireland uh, doing blockchain-enabled technology with a guy named Jack McCombe. It's been four months. I didn't know if she was seeing anybody. That seems fast. Doesn't, it, doesn't that seem fast? That's fast. Um. Yeah, so uh, do you want to like, maybe take a walk or, or get some air? Because um, this is a corporate video and you need to keep it together. No, we're good. Okay? We're good. Yeah. You, you sure? Positive. We're going to be fine. We got this. Awesome. We got this, Sheila. Okay. Wonderful. Yep. Okay. Uh, great, guys. Let's, uh, let's go again. Jack Combe. Jack Combe. She's in Ireland. Jack Combe. Yeah, Jack Combe in Ireland. Blockchain is changing the world of business. And this concept, the removal of the middleman, is just like the removal of my heart, which is the middleman of my chest. It might be efficient, but I can't feel anything. Hey, Sheila, why do you think she's in Ireland? Uh, maybe we should look into that. Can I get a map? I'm in Ireland to demonstrate how blockchain works internationally. Also to demonstrate how far I've fallen. After flying into Cork last night, I couldn't find them. And by them, of course, I mean my ex-girlfriend, Violet Sampson, and her new possible boyfriend, maybe just lover, no, somehow that's worse, Jack McCombie. After I left Cork, I came straight here to County Wexford, just a day's drive from Kilkenny. It's a scenic drive, if by scenic you mean frenzied and scary. I did use blockchain, however, to find out that Jack McCombie descends from a long line of dairy farmers who reside not 20 feet behind me. How did I find this out? By tracing the supply chain of one slice of cheese I used to make a sandwich. <laughs> From this slice of cheese, and I admit now this was obvious, I was able to trace it back to my local supermarket. From local supermarket to distributor, from the distributor to the New Jersey Port Authority, from the New Jersey Port Authority all the way across the Atlantic Ocean to Irish Cheese Baron Rory O'Halloran, from Rory O'Halloran to one Patrick McCombie, Jack McCombie's cousin, from whom Jack is estranged due to a blood feud lasting multiple generations. <laughs> Now, let's go meet the locals. I'm here with regional eccentric Seamus Flannery. Now, Seamus, what do you know about the McCombies? Ha, what don't I know about the McCombies? They are bloody legends around here. But you told me this is a documentary about blockchain, for which I'm quite the enthusiast. Here I am at the McCombie farm. Uh, if you'll follow me, one more note on the supply chain takes us to this very house where just upstairs, Jack and Violet are very probably enjoying a quiet, cozy breakfast as lovers are wont to do. I'm shaking right now from both specific fear and a general sense of self-worthlessness. Can I help you? Hi. My name is Matt Hooper, and I was able to find this house because I traced some cheese. Matt? What are you doing here? It's only been four months, Violet. We weren't supposed to see other people. Yeah, I'm in Ireland, on vacation. What, you followed me? It's so nice to see you still. Okay, wow, well, I'm on vacation, living my life. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. This is insane. Hey, hey, we're just best friends. What's happening to you? Well, that is a relief. <laughs> because I had been afraid that this trip, all of it, the beauty, the strangeness, made possible by blockchain-enabled technology and the immutable truth of our every transaction was leading to an emotional outcome I was not prepared for. 
That is so stupid. <laughs> no, it's not. Wait, it is. Wait, wait. You're following me here? <laughs> but hang on. Wait. Is this is this a blockchain-focused documentary? It's only been four months, Violet. Yeah, four months. Four You're months. the same person because, that I wrote because, No, I've evolved. Because I mean, because documentaries the blockchain wow. is something about which I'm quite the enthusiast. We learned a lot today about each other, about the importance of transparency. You know, blockchain is a truth teller, my friends, and we need a public ledger to keep the facts straight and keep our hearts safe. So Jack McCombie is just Violet's best friend. There's no reason I uh, be... Best friends, though, of course. <laughs> we are amorous. Found it in the 17, 76, between the seventh inning stretch and the seven year each as the seven nation army plays all of the hits. 76 Trump.